Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 20, verses 20 through 28. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel challenges our conventional understanding of leadership and authority. Jesus presents this radical vision of leadership that is rooted in humility, service, and self-sacrifice, which was not only contrary to what the Jewish people were expecting back in those days, but I think it's also contrary to what we expect from our leaders today, or at least what we experience. Greatness is not found in seeking positions of power or honor, but in serving others with a selfless heart, just as Jesus exemplified through his own life and ultimately through his sacrificial death for us on the cross. Of course, this prompts us to examine our own attitudes towards leadership and influence. Are we driven by a desire for recognition, power, and self-promotion, or are we committed to serving others and placing their needs above our own? Jesus invites us to embrace a servant's heart, seeking opportunities to extend compassion offer support, and meet the needs of those who are around us. Furthermore, this passage challenges our understanding of what greatness and success truly means. The world often measures those words by fame, awards, money, and positions of authority, but Jesus is calling us to a whole new standard. He teaches us that greatness lies in humility and service, and the true mark of a leader is found in their willingness to sacrificially give of themselves for the sake of others. May we seek to embody servant leadership in our own lives, recognizing that our true calling is to humbly serve others and reflect the love and selflessness of Christ. And so today, let's pray that we will prioritize the needs of others above our own desires for recognition or honor, and may our lives be a testament to the transformative power of servant leadership.